Satnam everyone, this is Hila and in today's practice we will just relax into our bodies. So this practice is especially for busy mothers, for people, for women that are working and anyone else that just needs a little bit of um, stretching out the body. Okay, I will tune us in with Om Namo Gurudev Namo. Om Namo Gurudev Namo. Om Namo Gurudev Namo. Om Namo. Okay, so beginning with an upright position, elongate through your spine. Inhale, lift your chest, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, stretch your arms and cup your knees. Inhale, elongate toward the crown of your head. Exhale, tuck your chin now. Begin inhaling and exhaling through your nose. Keep on breathing. Creating that perfect shape of a triangle and releasing all tension in your face, around your eyes, around your mouth, loosening around your ears, your forehead, separating the teeth. And just really opening the chest now press the palm of your hands into your knees and allow the chest to open creating a little bit of a hollow back lower back and breathing in and out through your nose and then as you inhale Breathe into your belly. And let the breath travel up. Feel the top corners of your lungs. Hold your breath now. Tuck your chin. Feel how you are stretching the spine. Awkward neck. And then release the breath. And blink your eyes open. Okay, release the posture. And come to lie down. Okay, as we are lying down, really feel how your spine relaxes. Bring the heels together. Inhale, raise your arms over your head, interlace your fingers, turn the palms up and cup your ears, hug your ears if this is available for you. And then we're gonna, we're gonna create an opposition between the palms and your tippy toes. So we are inhaling, we are bringing the toes toward us. 
hold and then exhale, tippy toes away, flex and extend. And again, inhale. Even your heels are lifting up. Hold it, stretch in two opposite directions. And exhale. Okay, really point your tippy toes forward. Point, and in the same way, you're relaxing the shoulders a little bit. And you are pressing your palms forward. And then let's inhale one more time. Retaining the breath, good. Really contract. And exhale one more time. You can shoot out through an O-shaped mouth now if you like. Okay, and then really sweep your arms and release the posture, yet keep your heels touched. And then with one breath, just lift off the shoulders, tuck the shoulders under, lift off your tailbone, and then lift the arms, and just let them set down again. Fingers are curled, and let's just integrate that first exercise. Now blink your eyes open and point your toes forward. And then on the inhalation, we will sweep up both legs. You can use the palms of your hands next to you or if you need underneath your buttock and we are bringing the legs up, supporting your hands on your buttock and we are trying to sweep the legs above our head, support now your lower back. And we are being, beginning deep, long breathing, squeeze the root chakra, squeeze the sexual organs. Relax through the facial muscles. Do not move your neck. Your neck is very, very still. Roll the eyes up, looking inward, up and inward. Long, deep breathing. Stimulating the thyroid glands and the parathyroid glands. Really surrender here with long, deep breathing. The Mulat Bandha is still closed, slightly contracted. And one more breath. Now gently keep the root lock engaged, release the hands, support yourself and slowly exhale one vertebra at a time. And then release and slowly exhale and then open the wood lock. And let's just take a minute here. And then please now hug both knees 
left and right. Keep the head and the spine nice and relaxed. Interlace your fingers and breathe deeply. The back of your head is flat. Shoulder blades are flat on your mat. And we're just breathing long and deep. really always return to be very mindful and conscious about the facial muscles. We often hold tension on your foreheads, on our foreheads and around the eyes and in between the eyes. So try to really relax through the face, relax the teeth, Relax your lips and relax your shoulders. And now, please relax the left leg down. So we are holding only the right knee. We are holding it tight toward our body yet we're relaxing through the area um, of our back and the sitting bone and just find your breath here and we are be beginning to inhale the left leg inhaling up and down and as you inhale pay attention that your left leg keeps extended so that might be for some only 30 degrees for some others 60 degrees or if you really able to keep your leg extended you can go, come up all the way 90 degrees and then exhale down and go in your own rhythm inhale up and exhale down Embracing the silence and just listening to our own breath and feeling how the anxiety around our heart center is fading away. time up bend your knee and change sides hold now the left knee squeeze it toward you and extend your right leg okay just leveling your hips and then inhale again you choose between 30 60 or 90 degrees that could be differ between both legs so just see where you at today and then we are exhaling down and again inhaling up exhaling down and going in our own time with our own breath
and inhale both legs. Now hold on to both knees. Inhale, draw the knees toward your chest. And then exhale, extend both legs forward and down. Okay, for one more time, take the arms up. Inhale, and now flex the ankles and really contract, lifting the heels off the floor and squeezing the ears. Hold it here. Inhale, hold your breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Release the posture, sweep through the electromagnetic field, palms up, and just surrender. And then inhale, blink your eyes open. Now tuck your chin forward. Take both arms up. And slowly, one vertebra at a time, using your breath, try to roll up all the way. Slowly, consciously and mindfully, good, rolling up. And coming to sit in Dandasana. Okay, so we're sitting in Dandasana here. Now, just look at your legs, at your feet, and bring the big toes touching and try to spread the little toes. And in the same way, elongate your spine and through the crown of your head, have your chin first parallel, and then press the palms into your mat. And as you exhale, please now engage Jalada Bandha. Exhale and tuck your chin, awkward neck. And begin to breathe. Close your eyes gently, yet relax through the facial muscles. you are getting distracted, remember, you can think to yourself, inhale, exhale, or satnam, I am truth. Inhale, sat, exhale, nam. the posture. Okay, take your right heel toward your groin and then the left heel follows and then cup your knees just like we did when we started this practice. So cup, come forward and just open through your throat, fifth chakra area, and look up, close your eyes, and begin to breathe. Remember long, straight arms. You can e even overextend them.
releasing all the tension, the tightness, the stress that is accumulating in between each vertebra, each muscle in our entire body. So we tend to store stress and tension in various places of our bodies and that is very different to the individual. So just really work consciously, direct your thought into that area that is most calling out to be released. Okay, hold a little bit more, keep on breathing here. Open through your throat, opening the throat, good. Then release the posture. Excuse me, I have to fix my hairstyle. Okay, didn't intend to make a video, but I decided I will. Since we are just back from a long vacation, most mothers actually do feel like we need a vacation now, even more so if you have a home office to attend. Now, so this is an often asked question, especially when we are over 40 or maybe hitting 50. Um, by time the elasticity of your skin is fading away. So the best exercise to keep a double chin away is actually the daily opening, contracting, and closing Jalata Banda. So let's do just a few cycles. I will turn around. Let's just do a few cycles of exactly this movement. I just might remove this for a sec. Okay, so we are sitting upright. So you still feel that perpendicular straight spine. Don't lose this. And if you need help to do so, always remember to cup. This is the best way to establish that perfect straight spine. Okay, so it would look something like this. So we are inhaling, holding and contracting, and then we come forward, but we are keeping the spine straight and tuck. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And I will show you one more time from the side. So you inhale, feel and stretch. And then hold your head proud up and just tuck your chin. Jalata Banda, neck lock. So you're looking silly, awkward, but nobody can see you, so just go ahead. And keep a nice straight spine, slightly And then release. So having this set, having said this, um, we're gonna just take our hands and I'm going to show you how to perform daily self-massage. So this is very important. So the pituitary gland, which is located in the uh, back and the thyroid and parathyroid are the most important uh, places every morning to either tap or massage. So you want to do this every day. Best with your morning cold shower. 
and in the evening before you go to bed. Always need to include that master gland. Okay, so this is how you want to do it. Okay, now I'm going to loosen up a little bit through the shoulders. And then we just interlace the fingers in our back and we come forward. The chin is leading. So if this is where you go, you can always place a block or you can come all the way down to the floor. Okay, breathing deeply. And squeeze, bring your arms over your head and then release the arms down behind and just take the arms forward now and stretch yourself out. <sighs> okay. Okay, so that is just a little bit something to get your day started. This is a little routine I like to do, especially when there was a lot of tension built up before I get into my proper yoga, Kundalini yoga practice. I hope you enjoyed this. Satnam.